You have to be the very, very best in every aspect of your life to earn a shot at a world championship in 1FC. And that's what these guys are going to showcase. Over here, madam. Um, this is for you, Jean. Masyadong pre-hook yung mind ka dyan sa hair mo. Bakit ka lumalaban sa ganitong labanan? Well, the question to Eugene, obviously, is he keeps talking about his hair. This again for international media. So the question is, why does he go into fighting when he's so worried about how his hair looks most of the time? Think about it. Gusto ko kung lumaban talaga since bata pa. Oh! And that's my hair. Kaya nga, lahat na kalaban mo, one round lang, Tio, kasi Pinapaspasan ko agad eh. Kasi mag mabot na nga, no? nawawala yung diskarte ko. Kasi during yung laban, inaayos-ayos ko pa yung bobo. Uh, this style, wala kayong magawa doon. Thank you! Again, for the international media and for Gianni Suba, he was saying it's why he tries to finish his matches as quickly as possible because he doesn't want his hair to get messed up. Sim simple and short. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, Mike Morillo from Business World. Uh, Victor. Yes, uh, just a matter of observation. Uh, this is the first time that 1FC is holding a uh, press conference in a more public place. Is it a conscious effort on the part of 1FC to bring the 1FC to more people here in Manila? Absolutely, Mike. You know, that, I think that's a great question. This, uh, as, the, as the sport has gained in popularity and profile, it makes sense to bring it to a shopping mall, but also we have a fantastic partner with with uh, Bobo Asia. Uh, as I mentioned, we announced a, a little a little while ago. We have a multi-year deal with Boa, and we are one of the only international sporting organizations that has a multi-year deal with them. And we did that to show our commitment to the Philippines that we are going to be here every you know, twice a year or at least as a minimum. Our dates for the next uh, next three years. Is, is booked. We're here. Without without fail, we are going to be here. I actually am hoping to make an announcement very soon about some other stuff that we've got planned for the Philippines. And um, you know, you know how we do it, Mike. We like to make game-changing moves. So expect some big announcements on that front. Because uh, Philippines is really a hotbed of activity, not only in the, in the mass popularity of the sport, but mass popularity is one thing. Uh, marathons have mass popularity, cyclothons have mass popularity. But what is special about mixed martial arts is you hold a press conference on a Tuesday at 11 o'clock in a shopping mall and look at this turnout that you get from the media. The support that we have from you guys is phenomenal. Really, really appreciate it. Big round of applause for you. Final question, Mike? Yes, uh, for Rob, uh, this is your first time uh, fighting uh, under 1FC. What is it about 1FC that decided to hook up with it? Well, I had offers from all the organizations in the world. 1FC has great people working behind it. They have great venues, they have great production. They have the best fans in the world. Asian fans. I'm born and raised in Australia. It's my home. My heritage is, goes back a long way. Uh, 1FC to me, are the best and uh, they're going to prove it in the next year or two. I think they'll overcome all the organizations in the world because of the fighters they have, the production they put on. That's why. Okay, thanks. And, and the rules, man, that's as real as it gets. That's what I want to do. Thank you, Mike. We have one on the opposite side. Go ahead, please. Ivan Saldejero, Dago of DH, to Rob and Yusuke, what will be the difference between this fight and your previous meeting? Would you like me to go first? This fight won't go to the judges. That's going to be different. This fight, I'm going to put my fist on his chin and get my hand raised. That's going to be the difference. I've been training a lot of soccer to prepare for this fight, so you might see something in there. All right, just in case you guys don't know, let me give some context to that. Uh, what if see we use the global rule set, the 
global rule set for mixed martial arts. It's a combination of the best rules from the East and the best rules from the West that emerged to make a global rule set. That's what he's talking about. It allows us to have much more aggressive, exciting fights. That's why when you come to one of see, you don't see a lot of people hiding behind the rules or um, you see a lot of stand-up fights. Because when you whip down to the ground, your opponent is still allowed to kick you. So you're not encouraged to stay down, basically. Um, but those rules have been practiced in existence for the last 25 years in Japan. And, there's, and we took that and merged it with, uh, to make the global rule set. So that's what he's referring to. Okay? Go ahead, please. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the organization and the, the place for the uh, rematch tournament, rematch is going to be different, but the, uh, the re reality is that I'm going to win. It never changes. So I think it's basically it's the same. Everything's the same. Nothing has changed. Any more questions? Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm Don from DojoDifter.com. The question is for the champion, Viviano. Welcome back to the Philippines, sir. Um, how does it feel to be the undisputed champion? And do you have plans to hold two separate titles? I feel blessed, right? But I just work training, I work hard for every fight I do. And always, always I feel great to come back to, to Manila. I feel, I, sometimes I feel I'm born in here. I don't know another life maybe, but I feel I'm born in here. I look same Manila, I look same Philippines a little bit, right? My skin, my way. Ah, I think so. Some people, in, I live in Canada, people ask you, oh, you're from, you're from, you go, you go to Filipino, you born there. I say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm born in Philippines. But, I'm ready, I train hard for my fight. I mean, three champion, featherweight champion. And the one FC champion, I'm so happy to be the champion from FC. And I will show why I'm the champion. May 2nd, I will show why I'm the champion. Thank you. Thank you. Question? Rick, any question from your end? Rick, Bob, you guys are good? Anybody else, please? Over there. Go ahead. Hi, good afternoon, guys. I'm Ms. Miguel of Studio 1915. Uh, I got a question. I just Victor, um, I've seen on your FB pages that you've been having some sort of events for your fan base. So, um, would you be having some for your Manila fans, like a meet and greet or something? Definitely. You know, um, let me get a show of hands or a hell yeah for support if you think this is a good idea. One of our partners is Petron. So this morning we're brainstorming. Wouldn't it be cool to do with our ring girls? A car wash at one of the Petron gas stations. Huh? But I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that has any interest if anyone would go to that. Now, now we're definitely going to do a lot of stuff on here, for sure. <laughs> Anybody else? We have time for two more questions at most, please. Go ahead. Please raise your hand. Sir? Have we covered everything? This side of the room. You guys good? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Please, the mic's right there. Right in, right in front of you. Thanks. Hi, good afternoon. My question is uh, for Chang Rabibian. Uh, Bong Tante Kambiao. Uh, sir, the hand is uh, Yeah, one. Uh, the question is... Yeah. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Uh, were you able to watch the fight between Kevin Billingon and Daewon Kim last Friday? Yeah, watch? No, no, yeah, but because I fly, I fly here, I don't watch, yeah, but I really want to watch the flight. What happened? Yeah, I know he, he had the choke, right? I told for him for Kelvin a long time ago, more we ago. I said, Kelvin, you have to change your sheets a little bit. That's the mistake you make. You make. If you change your sheets, so for sure you will be very great fire. Uh, uh, no, thanks for that. Uh, with those two uh, top bantamweight uh, fighters, uh, Kevin and Daewon Kim, who are you more interested to uh, 
uh, to fight with uh, and to fight against statistically? Who do you want to fight more between the two? Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't pick fire. I, I don't kind of guy like pick fight. I wait for my boys over here. He the match maker, he do everything. He, he gonna call me and say, Bibiano, you go fight with us. I say, okay, let's do it. And I don't like pick fight. I like the challenger. And I always, I always I bring my best in the fight. I don't like to get a fight. I don't, oh, I love the guy now. I, I believe everybody's. He's waiting to see for fighting me because he's waiting for fighting me. Who's gonna be the next? He's waiting for fighting me. For this, I'm here. I always I respect my opponent. I always I respect the one to see. Cool, no obrigado, campeão. Nada. One more question. We have time for one more question. Anybody else? That side. Okay, now we're gonna give our photographers an opportunity to take their shots. We're gonna start out 